When some think of the Northeast, they think of this. Not me. On Backwoods Angler TV, we'll take you to the other side of the most densely populated area of the country. You got it that time. Backwoods is an attitude. Backwoods is a state of mind. Backwoods can be in the remote sections of Maine or under a New Jersey interstate. Backwoods is where we live. Backwoods is where we fish. Backwoods Angler TV, your freshwater fishing authority for the Northeast. Catch it all here. Brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance, ensuring progress. Golden Valley Natural, all natural jerky and snacks. The Delaware County, New York Chamber of Commerce. And by the Sullivan County, New York Visitors Association. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not my usual boat. Just to let you know, I've got this little G3 John boat. We're going after monster smallmouth in monster reservoirs in New York State in little boats. <laughs> Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we're hitching the boat up here at Al Sports Shop in Downsville, New York. We're going out on Papacton Reservoir today. Don't miss it. Catskill Mountains are a vacation destination for New Yorkers and anglers from around the world. Wild trout fishing is well known and the scenery can't be beat. Delaware County in New York is home to several of New York City's drinking water supplies. These reservoirs hold some excellent smallmouth bass fishing that most people simply don't know about. The quality of water in these reservoirs is kept high by strict regulations. First, only non-motorized boats under 15 feet in length are allowed. Each boat must have a DEP access permit, which you can get for free through the internet. And prior to launching, your boat must be steam cleaned by a designated vendor to prevent spreading of invasive species. Having met these regulations, our fishing adventure can begin on Papacton Reservoir. And today is an adventure as we're facing stiff winds and a cold front moving in. Switch to the jerk bait after throwing that tube, and that fish absolutely clocked it. Respectable fish. Huh? The trick on that jerk bait was to pause. I had to pause that X wrap. That's the first colored X wrap. Aren't working because they're cold. <laughs> Believe it or not, the northeastern part of the country in May, ladies and gentlemen. And my hands are so cold I can't even take the hook out of the fish. All right. Numbers of fish. Numbers of fish up here. I'm told that there's fives and sixes. <laughs> So we're getting a little bit bigger each time. We got we started at 11 inches, then we got a two and a quarter pounder. Now we're going to three next. Okay, we're gonna get a three. But that was my that was my better jerkbait fish. So that was pretty cool. And that fish, I threw that out. And you see, the sun came back out now again. But that was probably I was slashing it more, and that was probably a, a three or four second pause, and that fish hit it on a pause. So. Uh, suspending jerk bait it will just sit in the right depth for a lot of these deeper reservoirs is that three to five foot depth where you jerk that stick bait down and it just sits straight in front of those fish we're on a flat these reservoirs drop quickly and that's why I'm looking for flats because the bass are staging in spawning in areas where they'll be able to just move up from you know that 10 to 15 foot range and they'll move up and they'll spawn on these flats these sandy rock flats backwoods angler tv brought to you by gamma molecularly altered fishing line 
Zico Shoes, Shimano, and by Dorsey Flashlights. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. It's May 12th and it's like 40. Winter weather in the spring? A wall of snow is coming down this reservoir. We get the kitchen sink thrown at us. It's ice pellets. And come up smiling. And I'm catching smallmouth. That's not a trout, is it? Stay tuned for more when we return. Backwoods Angler TV presents Coldwater River Fishing Secrets. In this seminar series on DVD, Blaine and Chris cover all your questions. Where, when, and how to locate river smallmouth in the coldest weather. For this and other DVDs on bass fishing techniques for any situation, visit BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. North America and International Fair Chase is a full-time hunting and fishing consulting service. Contact us to discuss how we can make your dream trip a reality. Huntwithbutch.com. Mountain Man Outdoor Supply, a leading wholesale distributor of hunting and fishing supplies. Highest quality yet affordable gear for the outdoorsman. Family operated, located in central PA. Visit mountainmanoutdoorsupply.com. Eric J. Conrad, Mark B. Stanziola, and Paraskevula Memunez of Thomas Conrad & Conrad, a firm providing over 25 years of personal injury and family law practice. An unexpected injury can be an awful and painful experience, and medical bills can pile up. Let us help you get the money you deserve. There's no fee if there's no recovery. We also handle divorce, custody, support, and more. Plus, we have multiple offices throughout the Lehigh Valley and surrounding areas for your convenience. Call today. Planning a trip to the shore? Make the Cape Cod Inn your destination. We're a family-friendly motel just steps from the beach. You'll love those Wildwood days. Check us out and book your room today. KGT Unique Gifts. With one stop, you can show her how much you really appreciate all she does at home. Visit www.kgtuniquegifts.net. Fishing the cat skills? Stop by Al's Sports Store in Downsville, New York. From lures and rods, live bait, hunting supplies, and more, Al's got you covered. Get your boat steam cleaned or rent a kayak and canoe to get out on the water. The Downsville Motel is available for longer stays. There's a variety of room sizes, including a large apartment, each directly on the waterfront. Visit alsportstore.com for more info. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Wacky Worm, Solarbat, Rapala, Lakeside Marine in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and by Case Plastics. New York's Delaware County is a freshwater fishing hotspot in the Northeast. Over a dozen world-class fisheries are within one hour's drive of each other. We're staying at the Downsville Motel because of its central location to each of our fishing destinations. The Downsville offers rooms of various sizes, including an apartment for larger groups, each with a beautiful view. Located on the banks of the East Branch of the Delaware, anglers can enjoy fishing and boating without ever leaving the motel. The apartment room has a full kitchen, living room, and space for groups of up to eight people. Once we left the motel, the comfort was over as we rode against stiff winds across the reservoir. Welcome back to Backwards Angler TV. I'm on Perfecton Reservoir, a New York City drinking supply reservoir. A lot of people don't realize is open to some outstanding bass and trout fishing. I am rolling into this. Good night. As you can see, there's a no motor restriction on this. <laughs> There he is. Little jerk bait, Smalley. I rode this boat 
See, what I'm looking for, what you want to look for is, we got a, a topographic map, a depth map, and these reservoirs drop quick, but there are some flats. You want to find these sandy, rocky flats because the bass, it's 52 to 57 degrees, roughly, that's what it's running and they're going to start to get just adjacent to or they'll actually start cruising these flats. But I found this flat around this corner and the wind is blowing actually onto the flat, which I would think would help us today. We're going to try and find out. Good one. Good fish. This is a good fish. That a baby! Follow in small mouth, baby! Respectable fish. We are getting crushed out here. Trust me when I tell you, they draw them a lot bigger than that in this reservoir. That's a pretty fish though. That's a nice chunky fish. Numbers of them up here like that. Post cold front. Northwest wind howling right now. I'm in a John boat with her oars. That's a better one too, that's better. Oh, he came off, he came off, he came off! No, no, no! Oh! Oh, you can't miss him. There's another one. I think there's a typhoon moving in here right now. What do you call what do you call it when the wind goes from about eight miles an hour to 28 and it's blowing right in your face and it's May 12th and it's like 40. Are you kidding me? And I'm catching smallmouth. Stick around, we'll be right back. Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by the Delaware River Smallmouth Bass Fishing Handbook. Tips and techniques, tactics and information on seasonal patterns for any river situation. These are the techniques Blaine uses 200 days a year guiding on the Delaware River. Pick up your copy today at shop.backwoodsanglertv.com. Nice fish. What's his secret? It's Wacky Worm where bass is king. Crankbaits, spinnerbaits, jerkbaits and more. Check out our 70-foot wall of plastics. Over 800 rods and reels from the leading manufacturers. Plus our own handcrafted jigs and soft plastic lures. For tons of tackle and friendly service, Wacky Worm, the true secret in fishing. The Coopersburg Diner and Family Restaurant. Conveniently located in the center of Coopersburg on Route 309 between Allentown and Quakertown. Come and enjoy great homemade entrees, delicious desserts, and friendly atmosphere. Now offering corporate and private catering for your family celebration, business banquet, or any special occasion. Open daily from 5.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. Come see why everyone loves the Coop. Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery, located in Forks Township, just north of Easton, offers you wholesome natural foods straight from the source. 
We are licensed by the state of Pennsylvania to sell raw milk, and also available is our all-natural yogurt, mozzarella, regatta, and flavored cheese spreads. Check out our large assortment of artisanal cheeses, including cheddar, Colby, and Gouda. We also carry beef, eggs, and local honey. So buy fresh, buy local. Stop by Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery today. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, Catskill Mountain Smallies. Cannonsville Reservoir is the newest and largest of the New York City drinking supply reservoirs in Delaware County, New York. Holding over 95 billion gallons, almost 50% of New York's water comes from Cannonsville. The lake was created in the 1960s by impounding and flooding half of the west branch of the Delaware. The water's kept clean and the fish are kept healthy by the NYC, DEP, and their boating regulations. Starting in 2013, trolling motors up to 55 pound thrust are allowed on this reservoir, opening much of the water up to bass anglers. Today we're facing a surprising weather pattern for spring. Just a foul cold front came through. As you can see, it is, it's May. I'm in winter bibs. And I'm cold. Yeah, we need to get this a pic. We need to get a picture of this. Look at this! It's ice pellets! We're getting hit with ice pellets! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, today on back. We're getting hit with ice pellets. It's May. Are you kidding me? Oh my. What is that? Is that like a snowfall? Are you kidding me? Cover everything up that needs to be covered. We've got a snow squall. A wall of snow. Look at this. Turn the camera. A wall. <laughs> a wall of snow is coming down this reservoir right now. It's May. It's May, ladies and gentlemen. Have I mentioned it's May? Look at that. It's just going right down the mountain. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I thought you were better than that, Bob. She spawned out. That fish is spawned out. That's a little odd. I bet you're thinking spawned out. You got a ski cap on and winter bibs. That's a 15 inch fish and it's, there's nothing to her. Wow. Spawned out fish. And it's snowing. I'm fishing a point with the tube jig, post cold front, between 38 and 42 degrees. Water temperature is 58 on my gauge right now. That fish looks to be spawned out. It's May and it's 40 and we were getting pelted with ice pellets before. I don't know, you can see it right now. Just as I say that, this little cloud burst comes down here. This is uh, New York City Drinking Supply Reservoir, Cannonsville Reservoir, and there's several boat ramps around this lake, and you get a 15 foot or less boat, you get a trolling motor and put it on here. There's some good smallmouth opportunities. Just don't come in May when it's snowing. You may never have to worry about that, because this may never happen again in the history of the rest of the world. Another post spawn fish. That's a long 17 inch post spawn, nothing left fish. Look at it. 
We got nothing left in it. It's so cold. At least I'm finished. And the water's 58. That was another instance, and you've heard me say it many, many times. That tube got jammed on a rock, got stuck on a rock, I popped it off and that fish tapped it instantly. Always, always fish your tubes, your jigs, hair jigs, shaky heads. Always fish them if you pop a snag free. Always be ready for a small amount to hit that jig. A helpful technique for learning a new body of water is to keep a fishing log. The Go Fishing and I Go Fishing apps for your smartphone make keeping a log simpler and easier for anglers. Just enter your location, weather conditions, and lure selection at the start of your day. And with the press of a button, your fish are recorded. You can search by category to see when, where, and how you landed them. At the end of the day, you can review your trip and even record comments. Fish off shallow flats, holding deep, encountered spring snowstorm. Learning from the past is critical in fishing, and after the storm, Cannonsville shows her true colors. Come on back and join us when Backwoods Angler TV returns. Have Blaine Mengel speak at your next game dinner or church event. Contact Blaine at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for bookings. Do you own an outboard jet motor? Backwoods Angler TV's new DVD, 30 Minute PM, Outboard Jet Preventative Maintenance is sure to save you money from repairs and it will keep you on the water and on the fish. During the break, visit the shop at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. We've got DVDs, books, lures, and more. <laughs> what is with this fish? Tips and techniques for fishing the Northeast or wherever you are. That is a quality bass no matter how you slice it, no matter where you catch it. Mountain Man Outdoor Supply, a leading wholesale distributor of hunting and fishing supplies. Highest quality yet affordable gear for the outdoorsman. Visit mountainmanoutdoorsupply.com. When it comes to fishing, there's a fine line between failure and success. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a fine line between the trophy and just another fish story. That line is Gamma. Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Unforeseen accidents on the water can and will happen on occasion. If you do happen to suffer a boating accident, you'll want insurance that includes all coverages you'll need to get you back on the water quickly. Ace Recreational Marine Insurance provides all this plus added coverage for your fishing equipment, protection against uninsured boaters and theft, and even coverage for torment bass boats, all for a reasonable price. I'm Blaine Mangle, and this is why I have my boat insured with Ace. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Catch it all here. That's a fighter there. Come up here, girl. <laughs> Knowing each boater is unique, Ace Marine Insurance has the ability to customize your boat insurance based on the type of boat you own and how you use it. Ace offers the broadest navigational area available so you can follow where the fish are biting with coverage while being trailered on land or inland waters or coastwise waterways of the continental U.S., Alaska, Hawaii, and Canada. Coverage can be arranged for bass boats used in tournaments in fresh or brackish water. If you're looking for comprehensive boat insurance that meets your specific needs, visit acemarineinsurance.com to find a local Ace agent who can help you with customized coverage at competitive rates. It's just a mush mouth kind of a bite where I'm lifting the tube at the top of my lift and I just feel the fish pull back a little bit. You don't feel that classic tap that we jig anglers have 
grown to know and love. It's just not happening right now. You see me bundled up and it, it's, it's May. It's just really, really cold. And the fish are acting accordingly. The, the bites are literally like it's, like it's marked, like the water would be 40. Ooh, that is a better one. That's a be that's a better one there. Holy! There we go, baby! There we go! Look at that! That's a slob. Come on, girl. Yeah, there you go. That's what you come to the cast skills for, right? That's not a trout, is it? That's a big old bronze. Cannonsville Reservoir. Smallmouth bass. That's a good fish right there. Please spawn, please, please, please spawn. Keep going, man. Keep going on. That's what we're after today on Backwoods Angler TV. It is spring, it is cold, ridiculously cold, and that's what we're after. We're after tubby, heavy, smallmouth. Right? A lot of the anglers on these reservoirs fish for trout, and these smallmouth are untapped. And the Catskills, I'll boast to tell you that th there is a heck of a smallmouth bass fishery in, in Cannonsville Reservoir. And the nice thing about this reservoir is they change the regulations where you can put a 15-foot boat on this reservoir and you can put a 55-pound thrust electric trolling motor on the boat now. I'll tell you what, if we didn't have this trolling motor today and this wind we would have been hammered. It would not have been easy, especially with a, with a flat bottom style John Bass boat. You're not going to be rowing through stuff like that. So this, this trolling motor regulation really opens up some opportunities for some bass anglers out here. There he is too. Mr. and Mrs. Smallmouth, today on Backwoods Angler TV, thank you for joining me on Cannonsville Reservoir. We caught smallies, we had snow flurries, we had sleet, we had a boy ass on Blaine Mangle. BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for more information. Good fishing. You're the post spawn female. I'll take it. I'll take it. After the day, I'll take it. I'm going to get me another one. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by these fine sponsors.